All right, well, tried this one before, didn't quite work out. So here's the tractor, pretty basic. Didn't go through a whole lot of trouble. It's all built out of pallets and uh, slats from uh, from some uh, box springs. I still got to put the uh, put the gate on. Finish working the boxes. There's we got two, and then room for two more right there. Still got to finish putting the roof on. Let's go to the back end with a slant. I'm gonna end up trying to maybe putting a piece of rain gutter back there so it'll drain down and into a five gallon bucket. Hey girl, we got these, uh, they're still real skittish. We got these from a friend of ours last night. They're a little freaked out. Got the biddies. We got uh, two, four. Oh, I thought we only got six. Oh, well, whatever. We got eight. And these two hens. And then we got a couple of roosters and two more hens out in the big pen. But uh, it's just got some landscape fabric on the top, just stapled in. Sheds water pretty well. Not this one because it's flat, but you know, if it had a if it had an incline to it, it would. And uh, go out here and see the other one, big one. Gotta get the grass cut, man. So, this is a, uh, it was a dog pen. And uh, just like what happened with the, the tractor, whenever somebody says, hey, we've got free shit, do you want it? You kinda just, uh, throw stuff together and do whatever you got to do so I busted off some slats as you can see those little stakes busted off the slats from uh, some more box springs just put them out here through the landscape fabric over the top of it looks all right mostly like I said on Facebook and Instagram it's just for shade uh, because you're not going to keep predators out. You know, everybody everybody has their own opinion. And my opinion is, I've seen raccoons and coyotes come back night after night after night trying to get in, and they will work it until they're in. And I've seen people spend six, seven, eight hundred dollars building a really nice, what they thought was secure chicken coop, only to come home one day or wake up one morning and find their entire flock dead so there's cash and then that right there that's tango those are the first two uh, the first two that someone gave us and they were originally in the uh, in the tractor until we got the call about the rest of them so we got those and last like I said we got those last night we got those three uh, two leghorns and one of them I thought was a leghorn last night but he's yellow not white so I don't know if he's still a leghorn or not he may be it may just be an off color naturally automatically assume that any straight white bird is a leghorn but we got uh, the two little hens those three white ones they're uh, they just if they knew what their fate was they uh they wouldn't be just chilling out and having a good time like they are because they're going to end up in the in the freezer they will meet their fate their barbecue 
delicious charred fate this weekend probably they don't know it yet it may still be a leghorn fuck I don't know Cash. Tang on cash were pretty. They're pretty, uh, pretty tame. All right. Well, I was just gonna show you all that.